yani honorary doctorate ya chuo kikuu huria cha Tanzania labda na hisi macho yangu yamelema sababu hiyo nimeandika vitabu vingi tu 14 vimetangazwa na vingine bado vipo na kingine nakatoa wiki ijayo ndikafika Dar es Salaam ndio kwa workshops atachukua kitabu changu kimeandikwa si kimeandikwa na mzee Komba kimeandikwa sasa na daktari Philip Komba <laughs> hayo nasema asante sana asante sana time maybe I'll be go quickly but uh, Mr. Kamunga Komba started his career by writing two famous books and that was in 1983 these are Mataraisha Kumaliza these are the books that were approved by the Ministry of Education and Culture to be used uh, in, in secondary schools and in primary schools in 1982, he published another very important book which is called Mualimu na Makuzi ya Mtoto. Uh, this is a, a, a psychological book. In upbringing children to become moral and responsible citizens. Again, the book was recommended by the Ministry of Education to be used in teachers' college to prepare teachers for the service. Uh, in 1990, I wrote another book, which is entitled The Singia Uchumi. And uh, this is a book about economy. Uh, the book ad addresses economic context in the context of Tanzania, and it details poverty, income generation, government, and the economy of Tanzania. In 2003, it translated, so it's not only writing books, but also translating books. It translated a book written by Barnes Oz and Washburn, published in 1926. Um, the book addresses the religious philosophy idea of purgatory, a place where Roman Catholics believe the spirits of dead people are sent to suffer for their sin before they go to heaven. In this book, he argues as to whether the place exists or does not exist. And I recommend to everyone to read this book even if you are not a Catholic. It is because of this book that I wrote that Mr. Komba left the Prestwood, but the Prestwood did not leave him. In 2008, he published Ndoya Christo Natalaka. Uh, this is the book that has addressed the topic of marriage and issues around the topic, which, was of, which is of great interest in this age of tumultuous marriages. Dear Honorable Chancellor, in 2014, he self-published a book entitled Vituo vya Hija Jimbo Kula Dar es Salaam Uteuzi na Historia ya Mahali Vilipio This is a research-based book that illustrates 
uh, illustratively present the historical development of all key infrastructures of Roman Catholic in the region of Dar es Salaam. In the following year, 2015, he published with Nismap a philosophical book on what happens at that time when a sound passed from the body. Mtu wa jisikiago, roho inapo tekana na mwili wake. If you want to know about what will happen when you die, this is the book. In 2020, he wrote a book entitled The Jew of Arani and published it with Nesmap. This is a philosophical book which, in my view, is Mr. Comba's own version of the Purgatory. You remember that he translated a book in Purgatory, but he also wrote his own book on Purgatory. So I can say that he's an expert in that area of Purgatory. In 2020, he wrote a book entitled Jew of Arani. I think I've said about that. In 2022, Mr. Komba proved as industrious. In this year, last year, he published two books at, at his age of 90. And the books are called Changamoto ya Maswala ya Kisoria katika Kanisa and another English book which is called the Useful English Expressions for Students. Dear Honorable Chancellor, uh, in his long career, Mr. Komba has been recognized First of all, because his books have been approved by the Ministry of Education and Culture to be used as compulsory books for learning and for educating. Uh, those are the Matadicho Kumaliza Yilima Msingi for primary school and Mahakamani Kumdalilisha Tanzania as a literary book in secondary schools. But Mr. Komba was also invited in 1975 uh, to a conference of library at the University of Dar es Salaam to present a conference paper. Uh, while at Mpopwa Teachers College, Mr. Komba measured the first in an examination designed to test the student teacher's competence in the English language. So that is a man who is very good at English language and handwriting. He is an avid reader and adept writer who has written several essays, poems, news articles and 14 books. He is a multilingual, multilingual speaker and writer. Mr. Komba can write and speak his own language, Latin, Greek, English, and Swahili. Dear Honorable Chancellor, currently Mr. Komba is 90 years old. He has kept his zeal for learning, writing, and reading. Here we are celebrating a man who has penned down an unknown number of news articles, 14 books, and still continues to work on seven draft for publication to date. Mr. Komba currently lives in a house he built at Pugu in Dar es Salaam with money he collected from royalties from his publications. He is widowed and left with four children who have become adults right now. Uh, dear Honorable Chancellor, on this account, I modestly propose recognition of this commendable and distinguishable contribution of this man to our knowledge by conferring him Doctor of Philosophy, Honoris Causa of the Open of the University of Tanzania, is achievement. I kindly submit.